Hello people and welcome back to another Skate 3 video and today this will be episode 3 of my uh, park creator series, almost forgot the name then, but anyway, um, I'm going to continue with the city centre, so a couple of people left suggestions which is always great, so thank you very much for that, um, keep on commenting any suggestions as I build the park, so today I'm just going to fix a couple of things in which people mentioned and then add hopefully a couple of other things to the park make it look a bit better so anyway I am going to firstly change this I'm, I'm gonna flip it like this. someone suggested to um, change the texture of the building as otherwise it looks a bit too boring and like to be honest I couldn't find many other things which looked decent and actually looked like it could be like part of a building um, so yeah I was just thinking that maybe if I flip these like that then I can colour them and then that will look a bit better so I'll keep the inside um, like that sort of texture though because I quite like that texture so this is going to take a while to flip all of them though so if I flip this one and this one so obviously I'll colour them so but it looks a bit better, it looks well it stands out more compared to that so I'll keep this like that, I'll probably add doors um, so uh, anyway as I'm recording this video so Advanced Warfare which you may or may not know has been out for um well quite a few weeks now so and i think personally it's quite a fun game but some of the stuff happens in that game is just absolutely ridiculous like for example today i had a submachine gun um mp11 i think it was so and someone was right in my face actually in fact they are afk from what i could tell and basically I started shooting them, shot a whole clip into them and um, don't know why that didn't kill them to be honest I think like the hip fire isn't the greatest so and then all of a sudden they just came back from being AFK so and just killed me more or less immediately because they were using a BAL 27 which is quite overpowered in my opinion a lot of people don't consider it overpowered but I honestly think it is it's a bit ridiculous like how accurate it is and yeah anyway I'm gonna change this to I'm thinking a blue colour maybe or wait so white looks like that that's a bit too bright um hmm I know I've done blue before on my previous park so sort of greenish colour um yeah that's quite a nice colour yeah I'll go with that so and then the insides I will decorate later on as they're not too important at this moment just want to make sure that the building looks half decent so anyway I'm going to start building some ledges so I will extend this outwards so as yeah like that and then this will extend around the building actually so eventually you'll be able to skate around the whole building that is my plan anyway so let's put this here right so that will extend it out like that and um, I'll actually block off that part of the building so and right I need to think of some stuff to add to the side so I want there to be a ledge of some sort but I don't know what sort of ledge to go with I think quite a wide ledge because I'll sort of match the theme let's go with, I know actually if I go down to ledges this is quite a cool idea actually flipping it like that Oh I know. 
Hmm, actually, I'm not sure if that will be quite a nice idea, having some of the stuff coloured like the building. So, maybe. So, I think I'll colour this black though, just because I want it not to be all white, because otherwise it looks a bit boring. Right, let's... Right. I think if I make this start then it's more of a ledge you hop onto and then like just ride down yeah that will be good so and actually in fact if I do this this will make more sense putting the rails on first then tilting it as that will make it a much easier right so when it comes to actually doing like the coping side of things I now quite like using this on the side so if I can even line it up come on um, this is where the lock access thing comes in really handy so I think this is like possibly the most underused tools in park creation but it is just superb uh, can't line it up I'm like pixel perfect right that, that'll do and then just move that over that side yeah that'll do right so that'll be the ledge so I shall now select this all and then I shall tilt it ever so slightly yeah like that and then I shall also duplicate this over here as I want the park to be mostly symmetrical so I quite like symmetrical parks don't know why so and then when it comes to here I don't know what I'll add I think I may just add a, a ramp and then also oh, and also add a, a smaller ramp so that then the transition is nicer right trying to remember what color I used was it that car? I don't think it was yeah it was that one right cool right so this is quite a cool technique anyway so you go with then a lower ramp snap that in place turn snapping on no off I mean and then you just lower it you don't move any sticks on your controller and therefore you'll be able to make the perfect transition and then you turn snapping back on go back over here and I've discovered one bug already which is that from far away the coping glitches out I'm, I'm hoping this is literally just for oh no it isn't okay uh, I was thinking that occasionally just in the park creator itself it glitches sometimes it does that and it doesn't actually glitch out when you're playing but apparently so right so I'll need to move this out a bit and then also move that a bit forward so and then move that a little bit forward not too much though otherwise it looks a bit odd right like that and then I'll delete this and then copy and paste this one over as that will just be easier and faster right so duplicate lock axis so this is why I love the lock axis tool so so good right there so that looks quite nice so I still don't know how to fix that I can't remember if someone said something about that like how to fix it so anyway I think I may make this episode slightly longer as I just want to so I'll add one more thing well, or maybe start one more thing anyway I think they need to go back slightly and now I've just realized something else which is it may just be I'm hoping ah it seemed to be just the park creator glitch where if you noticed like the top of the rail was 
partially glitching with other textures so hopefully that doesn't affect it from far away right cool we can still grind on that which is alright and it's not too high up either so you can ollie straight onto it which is perfect yep like that apart from I failed the kickflip right so the next thing we're going to get on to is building a extended sort of planter here um, maybe just a half width one like if possible um, if not I'll make it a full sort of pad so we shall use the stair pieces for this and I believe we can snap these in place so I'm hoping we can Ooh. awkward camera oh, I don't think we can hmm wait can we that way yeah we can that way sweet so if I do this exactly the same on this side then I'll have to kind of merge this um, don't know how I'll do this right. I don't really mind about the corners partially glitching out like not really 100% bothered about that so maybe what I can do is is lower this ever so slightly maybe like that or maybe am I able to do it a little smaller hmm doesn't seem like it nope come on ah why won't it go oh wrong one Right, I'm just gonna give up now with this. Yeah. So I'll keep that like that. And then I'll extend this around all of the sides. Maybe not the front bit. So but I think that that'll be quite a nice feature just to have. Right, so snapping on. And then snapping on that side. So yeah, that looks quite nice. And then I shall add um plaza grass right so this needs to be quite high up I want there to be as small of a gap as possible right so I like that oh actually in fact maybe slightly lower uh, maybe not so and then we need to think right that's quite a nice sort of grass color I think I'll just go with that so and then I shall add to finish off the episode I shall add just a couple of oh not palm trees um, full tree right so I shall add this more or less in the center so color I shall make it quite no, quite bright so then there's a bit more color to it and I want to merge in another tree with this there you go so it's slightly more realistic slightly you can't really make the uh, bottom part of a tree wide on skate which is unfortunate and it's off center right so I think that's yeah that's more or less in place now and let's just add a couple of bushes just to like change things up maybe change the orientation um, try not to use DLC as much as I want to use that by it I can't so maybe just a shrub it's not like it needs to be 100% like great does it so I think this is one thing I really do need to learn which is not to go over the top with plants and whatnot because I absolutely love putting in tons of plants 
making it really detailed and then it's just pointless because it just like makes the game lag so I'll test this out and then I shall call at the end of the episode if it works so I think that looks quite nice though right so obviously it's quite a long ledge which isn't the greatest but maybe I can add something else to it so that's quite cool you can do that and then let's just test out the other ledges oh trying to get into a tail slide okay maybe not so that's good enough a blunt so but anyway I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video if you did please leave a like down below and possibly subscribe for more remember to comment what you would like to see in the future episodes so obviously this park is nowhere near finished from my plans so anyway I hope you've enjoyed um, the extra long episode so I have a like well I just had the thought that it may be better to make slightly longer episodes so obviously I'm not the greatest at commentary so I'm not able to talk all the time but I'm just practicing I suppose it's better practicing and then hopefully becoming better in the future so anyway thanks for watching and see you all later bye